All right, good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer. And Jim, let's start with your reaction to Delta's earnings. Yeah, Delta's a little disappointing versus the fact that everybody else was doing much better. Expectations were therefore driven up for Delta. So, uh, I, I, frankly, I, I was surprised. Delta has a lot of international routes, and the international routes are not helping. I want to circle back to the fact that uh, United Continental is good, and it's a very inexpensive stock. That people are saying the Southwest has got too much of a premium right now. It's an ActionAlertsPlus.com name. If, you, if it gets to 60, just pull the trigger. And congratulations on an incredible AAP call yesterday. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to try to get some uh, uh, more out about that call on the site of the street because I think that we, uh, a lot of the, usually being a really good outpouring from club members, and I, I just want to kind of magnify some of the things that we said yesterday. Thank you. All right, and you also have a great column in Real Money this morning about retail, also Target yeah. raising its outlook. Right, now we have to see, uh, this is a really important uh, moment because Target's basically saying we're not going to be down, but uh, that, you got to worry about 2018. And what I, when I see a group crunch like this, what it says is that 2018 is going to be lower than 2017. People, portfolio managers have a very hard time buying any stock where you expect that the year next is worse than the current year. And Target is kind of saying, hey, listen, that may not be happening, but boy, do we ever have to watch Target stock. Now, Target is a quiet period for most of these retailers. My understanding, I've been very bullish about Walmart. Uh, so Sarge, by the way, we both like Walmart very much. I think Walmart's got better traffic too. Marcus Lemonis this morning about Camping World saying he's got better traffic. We need to see a Macy's come out or a Kohl's come out. Uh, just because what happens, if it, you know, we may just think it's Target. And if it's just Target, then the group just slides right back down. Uh, I would love to see the others talk. The others may feel constrained by quiet period though. Zillow shares getting hit on reports that maybe Amazon gets into listings. You know, it's funny. Best Buy got hit because uh, people felt they can set up a guest, a geek squad immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, Best Buy has 20,000 people in the geek squad. Uh, Spencer Raskoff has built a very unassailable institution in Zillow. Uh, could Amazon come in and do it? Zillow's preferred. I think that we're in this moment now where uh, Bezos can look at any business. If you want to sell everything because of Bezos, anything that is consumer related, you can do it. I find that that will end up creating opportunities. Hmm. Okay, also Snap upgraded its default. Yeah, no, Stiefel's just saying, look, this is the opportunity. Uh, it's, if, if Snap were to come out in the next 24 hours and say that we've now canvassed a lot of the big uh, shareholders who have who are free to sell stock uh, later this month and they're not going to and we're going to buy stock, then the stock gets back to 17. Okay, meanwhile, Seagate downgraded by Barclays? Yeah, look, I mean, if margins are weak, margins are weak. Uh, we're on, we on Western Digital for Action Alerts because it's a very specific situation. I believe that they're going to get the Toshiba Flash business, who is their partner, because they bought SanDisk. If that's the case, stock goes to 100. So we're not going to sell Western Digital off of uh, Seagate's weakness. That would be a mistake. Don't forget, Seagate is disk drive, and uh, Western Digital is disk drive plus Flash. And it's Flash that's tight, not disk drive. Uh, meanwhile, Morgan Stanley is bullish on Netflix's international market. Yeah, I mean, you know, look, this is this age-old debate uh, where, I mean, UBS did this call yesterday, where basically if you have enough content that's new, that does drive subs internationally. Uh, I think Netflix is a great story. All right, Jim, we're also following the banks tomorrow. Yeah, now, the, fortunately, Janet Yellen said that there may not be uh, two rate hikes or even one rate hike, which has then driven the bank stocks down. They have often come in with a full head of steam into the earnings period, and that has often meant that they, uh, no matter what they deliver, the stocks get hurt. Uh, so now they've been softened up. Consider it like a beachhead where the artillery has softened up the beach, so when they land, there may be a better situation. All right, Jim Kramer, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much, Thank as you. always. All right, for more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com. Thank you so much.